welcome back to my youtube channel in this special video i am going to talk about pentecost what is pentecost means of course the word of pentecost came from greek word pentecosti which is means 50 days celebration after easter or celebrations the resurrection of Christ from her death or 10 days celebrations after Jesus ascended into heaven as you know before Jesus ascended into heaven he promised to his disciples that he will send the advocate to them he will send the Holy Spirit with them in the missions and Pentecost a time from the, for apostle to receive the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised to them. Of course, to understand this celebration, we need to read the scripture, special from the Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise, like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted, and came to rest one each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At these sounds, they gathered in large crowds, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Persian, Medes, and Elamites. Inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Persia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the district of Libya near Siren, as well as the travelers from Rome, both Jews and comfort to Judaism, Sertans and Arab, yet we hear them speaking in all tongues of the mighty acts of God. scripture from the Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 let us see the context of the scripture first the context of scripture we just read when the time for Pentecost all the disciples of Christ in one place in one house while they all waiting of the Holy Spirit came as Jesus promised to them before he ascended into heaven. And very interesting, not just the apostles only that time, there also were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. They were very large crowds waiting the Holy Spirit came as well as. Of course, both apostles and the crowds 
or wonder what's happened? Do you think Jesus will send the Holy Spirit like he promised before to them? And if some of them might be confused, and if some of them might be doubt about the promise of Christ, that Jesus will send them the Holy Spirit, that God sent the Holy Spirit to them. And that situation, of course, beside their wonders, beside their doubt, beside their confused, but also many of them believe that God will send them the Holy Spirit. And thanks be to God, suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest one each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. In this context, we found three key words in here, wind, fire, and the Holy Spirit. As you know that wind in the Old Testament symbolized the God's presence, especially if you read in the second book of King, chapter 19, verse 11. In the book of King, chapter 19, 11, you can read there he said, Then the Lord said, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending to the mountain and the crossing rocks before the Lord. So wind in here is symbolized the God presence. That God present to them at that very moment. The second after the wind came, suddenly fire also came as well else. Fire in here is to purify, warm, and enlighten of the apostles, or the other words, to prepare the apostles to receive the Holy Spirit. Because before the Holy Spirit came, God needs them to prepare themselves. So by the presence of fire, waken up them to understand that the Spirit of God ready to come. And the third, the Holy Spirit came. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, signifies abundance of gifts to the apostles so that they can speak different languages to preach the good news to all the nations. Of course, so many people ask the question, what does that mean speaking in different tongue? Or what does that mean speaking in tongue? To answer this question, being honest to myself, I don't have answer definite to you. Because in the Catholic teaching, this question about speaking in tongues still debate. The Catholic teaching also, they don't have the answer yet, still debate. But I try to explain to you according to the scripture we just read, the Acts of Apostle chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. As you know, that before the Holy Spirit came, a lot of people who attended in Jerusalem were waiting the Holy Spirit came from different countries, came from different backgrounds, came from different nationalities, came from different native languages or mother tongue or languages. So what's happened when they came together with other people who came from different countries? And when the Holy Spirit came, the Holy Spirit empowered them so that they able to speak their own 
native language. The Holy Spirit empowered them to able to speak their own mother tongue. So what's happened? The people who came from different cultures, when they heard the people speaking their own mother tongue or native language, they didn't understand what they are talking about. So they made conclusion that they speaking in tongue because they didn't understand what they are talking about. It's really interesting when my sister speaking in tongue in the scripture very clear that the people who speaking their own native language and the people or the other people who came from the other country didn't understand what they are talking about and they make conclusion that they are speaking in tongue. The second, many people said speaking in tongue is somebody a kind of combination ancient language. So when the people spoke like this, of course people didn't understand what they are talking about. So when the people speaking the combination kind of ancient languages, so what happened is people said that people speaking in tongue because they didn't understand. And the third might be speaking in tongue is mean that speaking in spirit. Of course, to answer this question, what does that mean speaking in tongue? Once again, I want to tell you, this answer still debate what does that mean speaking in tongue. But the most important in here that the Holy Spirit allowed them, allow the people to speak in their own tongue or speaking in tongue as a gift for them so that by having that kind of gift, the Holy Spirit gave them commission not just for themselves but also to evangelize other people. So what does that mean in here? I'm talking in here that the whole message of Pentecost that the Holy Spirit empowered us, the Holy Spirit gave us commissions, used our own mother tongue, use our own mother native languages to speak about God, to evangelize other people to believe in God. Speaking in tongue, the most important in here is that the Holy Spirit or God allow us to use our own gift, to use our own languages, to proclaim the good news, to evangelize people to believe in God. I think it is the most important than the other things about speaking in tongue. That's why thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that speaking in tongue is not necessary to debate what does that mean, but the most important speaking in tongue is that the Holy Spirit give you kind of gift, that use that kind of gift to evangelize people, use your own languages, Use your native languages to speak, to proclaim the good news, and to evangelize the people to believe in God. And thank you so much, and God bless all of you.